Hello, my name is Robert Consoli and I'm a lecturer in digital design at the University of Hull in England. And today we're here to talk about Maya 8.5, which is a three-dimensional design package put out by a company called Autodesk. Now this program in itself is complex, can be difficult to learn, but has unlimited potential really for the designer. Now the idea is that these visual tutorials which I'm about to deliver, and there's a series of six of them here on my channel and uh, on YouTube, uh, the idea is to see whether or not a visual tutorial like this, where I actually help you to uh, 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 work through the software, to see if that is a more effective way to learn than, say, just downloading a typewritten uh, uh, tutorial from the web, right? Now, this is all made possible by a research grant that I was awarded earlier this year, which is uh, uh, meant to, to try and test this theory to see if it indeed is a more effective way to learn. Now, the interesting part of this project is that it makes YouTube, this channel, essentially a classroom in which not only do my own students participate actively, but anyone else in the world who happens to be tuning in can interact as well. So, as we uh, go through these tutorials, uh, I'll ask you, in the spirit of, uh, of, uh, of uh, new information and learning, to engage with this channel and to participate in this project so that we can learn whether it's an effective tool or not. All right? So that, what that means is that this YouTube channel has become a classroom. And that, to me, is an exciting prospect because I can't wait to see if I get any response from the world or not. Now, the good thing about YouTube is this. When you see a video on YouTube, you may have noticed that you can also post a comment in response to that video, but you may not have noticed that you can also post a video response to any video that you watch. So, in order to participate, first of all, you'll need a YouTube account. And to have a YouTube account, about the only th other thing you need is a, an email address, an active one. So, those are the first steps. So, subscribe to uh, 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 YouTube, then subscribe to this channel. So, when I post new tutorials or new information, you're alerted uh, uh, of the fact automatically. So that's the first step. All right. Now this, this YouTube channel also, you'll see, includes a lot of other information. Uh, just for inspiration, there's a, a show reel of my students' work from the last academic year, which might give you an idea of the kind of things that you can accomplish by learning this software package, as well as seeing other uh, uh, examples of two-dimensional work that my students have done. You'll see these tutorials, right? And in the very last tutorial, number six, I'll include exercises, all right? Exercises that I'd like you to try with what you've learned from these tutorials. Now, these exercises will be numbered number one, two, three, and four, all right? Now, when you accomplish these exercises, when you actually produce work based on what I've taught you here, what I'd like you to do is post that work as a video response to this video. And then other students can see what you've done, be inspired by it, and before you know it, we may have a, 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 a wonderful thing going, right? So we'll have tutorials, exercises, and you'll also hear me refer to longer more detailed lectures on design. Now we're not going to cover a lot about design in these lectures because it's all about the software. But to really get the full picture, you'll need to uh, uh, download or you'll need to view uh, uh, the lectures that I've included on this site on design as well. And some of them uh, may prove to be uh, helpful to you. So other than that, uh, stay tuned. Open up the next tutorial and let's get started. Thanks and see you in a minute.